In the name of God, of His Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Good evening, everybody. Uh, just to be, you know, a few seconds to spare. Uh, it was exactly nine o'clock. But just to say, we've uh, again uh, tried uh, sharpening up our the sound part of our live streaming today. So try, if you are able to listen to and watch the live streaming on Wednesday, which is tomorrow at 10 o'clock. And I hope that we will be much better than we were on Sunday. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth. And so we reflect on the day that has transpired. We think of three things we could have done differently. Where we had said something that might have hurt somebody. Even we might have been right. And yet we fell short of the act of kindness. And also, in a corresponding way, we thank God as we seek to embrace a moment of gratitude for three things that we have experienced that made us feel good about ourselves. In whatever way we felt the presence of God. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, in word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins. Heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life. In Christ, amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We now listen to the hymn Shall no one living be justified? 
For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past, I muse upon all your deeds, I consider the work of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you, my soul grasps for you like a thirsty lamb. O oh Lord, make haste to answer me, my spirit fails me. I blot your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pits. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Divide me, O Lord, for your name's sake, for your righteousness' sake. Bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness, slay my enemies and destroy all the adversities of my soul. For truly I am your servant. Show me, O oh Lord, the way that I should walk in. Jesus, our companion, when we are driven to despair, help us through the friends and strangers we encounter on our path to know you as our refuge, our way, our truth, and our life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Tonight we give God thanks for the birthday celebrated this day by Ashley Chad. Father, we thank you for the way Ashley is part of our family and we pray that he would have had a more celebratory sense of the goodness of your presence in his life. We pray that you will open the, door, the doors for employment in his life and that you will sustain him in the days to come. Lord, in your mercy, yeah, our prayer. Father, we also commend to your healing grace, General Dagnan. Lord, as he has the, the deep awareness of the COVID-19 that took his beloved away from him, and in his grief and lament, his own capacity to overcome, Lord, the COVID-19 presence in his life, that he will know the grace of your being, that you will give him the strength that he seeks and that he needs. This late day, this night, Lord, keep him in that warm embrace of the comfort of your spirit, which is holy and which is whole. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, you have prepared for those who love you such good things as pass our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love towards you that we, loving you in all things and above all things, may obtain your promises, which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at the end and the day is now past. As the night watches and looks for the morning, so do we look to you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. And so, beloved, may the Lord bless us and watch over us and may the Lord look kindly upon us and grant us peace. Amen. Our closing hymn is one of the one instrumental pieces by Yo-Yo Ma. <laughs> 